Now, the latest ITV news from Granada Reports with Elaine Wilcox and Gamal Fambale. Hello there, welcome to Granada Reports as the heat wave continues. Hello, on the programme this evening. Anger over government plans for mandatory vaccine passports to enter nightclubs. Owners tell us their industry is being singled out. We're a big industry, it's broken right now, it, it, needs, to, uh, it, it needs to repair. Yet another life lost in the water. The body of a 16-year-old boy is found in a Cheshire River. Catch up with cancer, the family of a young mum from Macclesfield who lost her life during lockdown take their petition right to the top of government. Just what is the Commonwealth Games mascot doing at a primary school in Daisy Hill? Stay tuned to find out. Very nice. And we are now officially in day five of this heat wave. How many more days to go? Will it ever cool down? Full forecast a little later on. First tonight, less than 24 hours after the government gave nightclubs the green light to open, the rules have changed. Those looking to hit the dance floor or go to live gigs will have to prove they've had two jabs from September or they'll be turned away. Sasha Lord, Greater Manchester's nighttime economy advisor, says the government will wipe out live gigs for a whole generation. The Prime Minister made the shock announcement, saying he was concerned by the continuing risk of Covid transmission. This industry has been closed for the past 16 months and most of the summer's festivals have been cancelled. Some now question whether this is a deliberate move to force young people to get vaccinated. We'll hear from one club owner in a moment, but first, this report from Zoe Mulding. <laughs> 